What if I told you about a place so beautiful that you'll gaze into it endlessly as the sun passes by? Let me take you to my roof back in 2019. To give you a bit of context, I used to live in a small industrial town in Saudi Arabia called Taif. That meant loads and loads of pollution clouds caused by the huge amount of factories and an even greater number of petrol cars. During COVID times, where people weren't allowed to leave their homes, I decided to take a stroll on the roof of my building as it's change of scenery from closure. As I opened the door, I felt like I was being born again. I took a deep breath of the clear, pure air and took a gaze into a clear sky that was like no other. The view was so beautiful that I decided to come in again at night and once I opened the door again, I stared into a roof very colourful with stars that I just stood there gazing for time to pass. That view was like no other for anyone to have seen and I would love to share it with you but now all of it, it's gone. The privilege of that better new world, my home, our home, was taken away from me and from us. So let's make a change about it. According to the International Energy Agency, road activity has fallen by 50% during COVID times in 2019. That meant fewer cars on the road, meaning that we cannot suffocate our planet anymore with the fumes that we're producing. Every time I get on a bus now whenever I'm going to college, there lies beside the door a count of how many people can get on the bus. It's always near 100 or 100 itself, and if you get 100 people on the bus, that means 100 fewer people on the road. That means 100 fewer cars and way less pollution. 29% of the world's total pollution comes from cars. So what if all of us decided to go on public transport and decrease that percentage greatly by taking public transport? And it might sound very much like a hassle to get into public transport, but trust me, as we advance, public transport will be way more convenient than petrol cars. Finally, I would like to ask you to sit down and think for yourself. Would you rather live in a world of endless beauty that I would love to share with you? Or would you like to survive in a world of endless chaos?